Avengers Endgame releases April 25th and is expected to break the box office. For Bobcat Update, I'm Isaac Hart. Texas State students can download Windows 10 for free at the university's ITAC support website. For Bobcat Update, I'm Isaac Hart. Nintendo Switch Online is the cheapest online multiplayer service for consoles. And as more games launch, problems will only continue to grow. For Bobcat Update, I'm Isaac Hart. Fans are looking forward to seeing The Avengers Endgame on the 25th. That is, if they can get a ticket. Opening night at the spot was sold out within an hour of going on sale, and seating for Friday's showing is likewise almost full. The demand for pre-sale tickets at Alamo Draft House even resulted in their website crashing. With that, it's no surprise that ticket site Fandango reports that Endgame has set the record for the most pre-sale tickets purchased within 24 hours. Okay, the thing about Endgame that has me most excited is the fact that there's so much mystery surrounding it. There's very little things that have actually been leaked out, and what we do have may potentially, like we, you and I were talking before, it may not even be real. Starting with the success of Marvel Studios' Iron Man in 2008, the comic book and superhero genre has managed to evolve into a culture all its own. Avengers Infinity War had audiences watch Thanos use his Infinity Gauntlet to snap half of our favorite Marvel Comics heroes out of existence. The popularity of comic books, shows, and movies has also had quite an impact on the comic book sales industry. Because the, the Avengers take in a lot of Marvel characters, you know, from Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, everybody. So it's, it's always it picks up interest in the certain titles, the sales too. Comic book shop Comic Relief in San Marcos has seen a surge in sales as a result of the pop culture phenomena. Stores like Half Price Books and local hobby shop Alpha Strike Games are also getting in on the trend. The Super Smash Brothers franchise has come a long way since the first entry was released in 1999 with eight playable Nintendo fighters. The latest entry in the series, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, boasts more than 70 fighters and it received a sizable update last week. However, when attempting to download the update to their consoles, players encountered errors and connection problems. I do have a roommate who did. He was up until 5 in the morning to get a character he purchased about four months back when the game released. And even at that time, he wasted about maybe five more hours just to get the update to restart because once it started at 5 a.m., it crashed. Nintendo's track record for online and online multiplayer services is far from spotless. According to top players, this isn't the first time Nintendo has had poor online functionality. There have been similar problems with earlier versions of the Smash Bros. series. When I'm playing Smash, because it's a fighting game, I do have a lot of delay or like lag or anything. But other than that, I do have a good time with the online service. Um, do I think I'm getting my money's worth? Uh... Prior to Ultimate's release, Nintendo's online play was free, but that's no longer the case for the Nintendo Switch. Players are paying for an almost identical experience that they once received for free. Their services are very cheap, but they don't really do anything. Like, no one who actually plays Smash competitively uses the online because it's just that bad unless you're streaming it. It's really not awful. Nintendo has several game releases planned, but also require the same paid service to play online. Some players say they aren't quite sure they're on board for that. 